What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Garrett back again with another Recovery Kicks video. It's been a little bit since I jumped on and gave you guys a, a sneaky review. I think it's been, uh, I don't know, at least maybe two or three videos. Uh, but this pair is the Jordan 3 Ah Mom and Year, raised by women. Super dope collab, uh, super dope shoe. The attention to detail is crazy on this. I'm gonna be giving you guys some information about the shoe because I think that's important as well. And then I actually have the shoe in hand. Uh, they've been sitting on ice, haven't, haven't uh, undies them. But before I go ahead and get into this video, you guys know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna ask you to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, maybe leave a comment or two and even share the video. So let's go ahead and get into it. Hey, so I found some cool information that I thought that would kind of help this video create some content. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and share it here. But the Jordan 3 Amma Manier is a collab, right? So the whole thing behind that is the shop owner is actually a luxury boutique owner. His name is James Winter. Um, it's not only is it the first retro air Jordan bearing his shop's name, but it's also the first Jordan that his mother had bought him. So him and his brothers were raised by his mom and she had purchased a pair of shoes, or not just a pair of shoes, but the first pair of Jordans. So it actually happened to be a pair of Jordan 3s. So the three was, you know, James states, the three was the first Jordan that my mother ever bought for me and my brothers. Winter says, if we're telling a story that's going to be about women for me, uh, it's super unique and it stuck out in my mind. I got to give my brother the credit. He was like, if you're going to do a three, mommy bought us the threes. So that was the first sure shoe that we have to do. I thought that was kind of cool, uh, you know, hence the whole race by women piece. But so it's I'll, I'll kind of get into some more stuff. You know, it was set to release. It didn't release. They wanted to do it uh, during Women's History Month. But just the basic idea of it, uh, just remember James Winter and his brothers, right? His mother had purchased a pair of threes, hence the name Race by Women. So the Jordan 3 actually was set to release in April, but uh, it actually didn't release till june 10th 2021 the price that it released for or came onto the market was for 200 dollars. but what you're looking at here is the actual shoe uh, on stock x depending upon the size that you were able to secure uh, i myself will wear a size 10.5 so that's a 12 in women's this shoe was actually released in women's only so you had to differentiate your size if you wanted to try to cop a pair of these but right now, uh, as we continue to push further and further and further out, um, the, the shoe continues to go in value. Right now, we're sending it around, I'd say around $480 to anywhere between $480 to $525, just depending upon your size. I would say that this shoe would probably stay around that. It did see some extreme highs um, when uh, it was first released. So as you can see here, it actually has the old school Nike Air logo on the back. The inner sole there actually has some satin, so you can imagine that you're sliding your foot into some real comfortable satin there. But you also have like the purple accent on below the Nike Air logo on the midsole there, kind of just helps maximize that. Um, but you know, it's a really, really comfortable shoe. Uh, Kevin, uh, Kev Chow actually was a big designer in this, so he has some real, real intricate pieces that he wanted to, um, you know, to have on this shoe, uh, down to the shoe eyelets. Um, there, there's, it, you know, basically his whole thing was you want to be comfortable walking alone. So that's why he kind of designed this shoe and basically stripped the whole actual design of what a three is. It doesn't have any of the elephant print. Uh, as you can see here, it still has some of the old uh, essential pieces though with the Nike Air logo. So as the sneaker suggests, women play a central role in the Am Am and Yers, Air Jordan 3. Uh, when the when the sneaker was first uh, unveiled, it came up with accompanying a black and white video that showed black black women working ex uh, extensive jobs and ended up with actually the vice president Camilla Harris on a television screen. Uh, Harris, who has been spotted in sneakers as of late, uh, as a, also as a connection to Winter. Um, but obviously, you know the the shoe uh, has, has a lot of inspiration behind it. Uh, James Winter doesn't want the story of women who inspired the sneaker to get lost amongst the hype of the release uh, So that's that's set to happen. He says uh, he says I've always want to put the message to others Especially women because of if anyone has it worse 
than black men, it's black women. And people don't talk about that at all. So it's the understanding that they never say it, but it's um, it's ingrained in them that they got to show up, up better than the rest of us every single day. So th- there's a lot of like history behind the shoe. It, it, the shoe itself, it's just a, the, the story, iconic. Uh, the shoe itself is is also iconic. Uh, it's, it's first of its kind for sure. So I think James Wood did a really good job with this shoe. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, do the unveiling of the box of the Amaniers. As you can see, it's got the, it's, it's like a Jordan sleeve. Uh, a lot of releases back in the day used to have that most notable, the Jordan 11s. Uh, and also a lot of the fours had this. Just some of the throwback uh, Jordans had the pull tab here. And then some of the more notable releases to date, obviously some of the Travis Scott's have this the extra sleeve on it. But the Amanier symbol is all the way around it. Uh, it kind of comes off here. Take this off. Uh, you also have that midsole purplish color, uh, super, super, like I want to say, like not bland, but just definitely like a matte color. Um, so it's not not as loud as you you know you would see on a lot of other threes, but definitely a cool colorway to say the least. Uh, we'll go ahead and get into this, but just a simple clean box all the way around. Uh, let's just go ahead and get into the unboxing of it. Let's see here. Looks like we have the classic Jordan wax paper uh, with the Amanier symbol on it. Oh yeah. As you can see, there's just a lot of attention to detail here. I'm gonna, I'll bring it a little closer here, the camera, but uh, looks like we have the Amanier symbol, quality goods, handled with care, uh, inspired by street culture, fashion, and the greatest athlete in history, uh, Michael Jordan. It's right there on the tab there. Uh, I think that these shoes are are definitely just just the this, this surface level uh, on in a, you know in a picture in hand fire. Uh, what we got here? We have in the back. All we have is each other. So I can get there for you on the pull tab. It's probably a little hard to see, but on the back of the pull tab here it says all we have is each other. Classic Nike stamp on the back. Um, looks like we have a, a couple of different pairs of laces too. So here. But just overall, beautiful beautiful shoe. Here's the satin Amanier symbol on the inside. But just looks comfortable. I haven't even tried these on. These are still DS. What we have on this one? You have to get comfortable walking alone. So yeah, I think I was saying that earlier. So all we have is each other on this shoe. And then this one says you have to be comfortable walking alone. Uh, but just attention to detail, super crazy. Uh, I, I would recommend this a definite cop if you have the chance for sure. Overall, fire shoe, fire shoe. 